and welcome to my video. Now this video is all about optical discs and DVDs and Blu-rays. In particular it's about playing them back in Windows 8. Now while Windows 8 is very very similar to Windows 7, playing back Blu-rays and DVDs is slightly different and that is because Windows 8 doesn't actually come with a DVD or a Blu-ray player. With Windows 7 you can just use Windows Media Player and you can play any DVD you like, whereas with Windows 8 there actually isn't a DVD player in the first place. If you want to play DVDs it's fairly straightforward. All you need to do is go out and download a program called VLC or any other third party DVD player. With this software installed you just put your DVD in, click play and it will play as normal. But if you want to play Blu-ray discs then it gets a little bit more complicated. Now obviously if you want to play Blu-ray discs you're going to need a Blu-ray drive. Once you've got your Blu-ray drive and got it inserted, then you need some software. Playing back Blu-ray discs is a little bit more complicated, and unless you do a few tweaks, VLC isn't going to work, and even if you do those, those tweaks, you'll be far better off using some different software. Now, when you buy your Blu-ray drive, it will actually come with some software, and this is where a bit of confusion has arise. Cyberlink and their Power DVD software, on the website they're advertising their latest and greatest Power DVD 13. Now this is advertised as being Windows 8 ready and they've said that there'll be no official support for Cyberlink 10 which is the standard software that you'll get with a lot of drives. So if you buy one of these drives with Cyberlink 10 included then you might think that the software won't actually work and that is actually what I thought. However, I bought a fairly cheap Blu-ray drive, it's a read only and it came bundled with Cyberlink 10. So I put this on Windows 8 just to, you know, just try, see if it works, and believe it or not, it actually does. So despite what they're kind of advertising, it will work absolutely fine on Windows 8. And as you can see here, if we click play, then the disc will play. So you just get the drive, put it in your computer, and as long as it comes bundled with Cyberlink 10 or any other similar software, then you don't actually need it to do anything else. There are a couple of limitations, but nothing major. The main one being that you can't actually play 3D movies in 3D unless you upgrade to their Cyberlink 13 software. So it's not really worth upgrading at all unless you want the 3D playback or they've got a couple other features. But the main playing back your Blu-ray disc with all its audio and video greats is absolutely fine with the basic software. So to get rid of any confusion at all, all you need is a Blu-ray drive and Power DVD 10. There aren't really any viable free alternatives other than a VLC tweak, but that's a lot more complicated and you won't actually be getting the best out of your Blu-rays anyway. Thank you for watching this video and I will see you next time.